hello everyone uh, in this one i'm going to discuss about uh, metabolic indicators in 5 to 9 years old children uh, this is cnns data uh, which was taken between 2016 to 2018 which was pre covid uh, and you would be surprised to see uh, how our children 5 to 9 years old all are doing and the reason i want to uh, discuss this data because when you have metabolic uh, issues you know uh, metabolic issues means uh, pre diabetes you know uh, high fat uh, in the in the blood like triglycerides are high uh, you know uh, blood sugars are high that means uh, there is a issue with complementary feeding okay so we have to understand that what kind of food we are starting in children uh, from 6 months of age and then you will uh, understand uh, how they fare uh, at around 5 five years of age 5 to 9 years of age so that uh, you know if they are becoming metabolically unhealthy that means uh, food which was started at 6 months of age and whatever they had uh, you know as complementary foods and uh, thereafter is probably not healthy okay so this is the basically percentage of children 5 uh, to 9 years of age who have high triglyceride level now triglycerides means uh, fat okay uh, blood fat uh, that's what we check you know triglyceride and if uh, adults have high triglyceride that means they have uh, more fat in the liver okay uh, and you can see uh, here you know if you look at the overall data of india about 33% children have Uh, uh you know high triglyceride level if you look at all these different states this is state wise data you can see that west bengal uh, almost 67% children between 5 to 9 years of of age uh, have uh, high fat okay in in the blood uh, and this uh, this basically denotes that uh, probably children are having lot more carbohydrate and also fried food okay we will discuss more in detail uh, you know in this course but uh, basically triglycerides increase when you are having high refined carbohydrate uh, food uh, and also fried food okay specifically uh, you know seed oils uh, and look at uh, this uh, sikkim assam uh, nagaland you know this all northeast states and they all have almost uh, more than half Uh, of children have high triglyceride level that is very very alarming okay so that's why what we have done in all our recipes for children uh, we have not used uh, food which are ex- in excessive carbohydrate like for example wheat rice you know uh, and also we have not shown any recipes which are fried okay uh, some of the states are uh, children have uh, kind of you know percent of children who have high triglycerides are kind of uh, i won't call it low but relatively low so uh, kerala has about 16% children uh, who are who are 5 to 9 years of age have high triglyceride maharashtra has about 19.1 so if you look at the average you know average is about 33% so if you keep the average over here say uh, arunachal pradesh uh, at that that particular line if you draw a line over here you can see that there are many more states which are higher number than average for india and that also includes uh, you know some of the states like uh, you know madhya pradesh bihar you know uh, himachal pradesh Atur- uh, uttarakhand uh, and also uh, jammu and kashmir okay so lot of these northeastern states as you can see over here uh, have children who have high fat in the liver as well as in the blood now the issue with high triglycerides is these children are at risk of developing diabetes pre diabetes uh, also heart disease early on in life okay so that's why uh, triglyceride it's important to keep your triglycerides uh, in a healthy range now this one is basically uh, children 5 to 9 years of age uh, who have high blood sugar okay so uh, look at again you know your uh, 
eastern states your uh, manipur sikkim tripura west bengal have almost 21% children who have high blood sugar okay this is pretty significant actually uh, that means uh, you know every uh, fifth child has high blood sugar uh, and these children are at very high risk of developing pre diabetes and diabetes and then subsequent complications of diabetes um, uh, children who have uh, low high blood sugar uh, you know uh, these are uh, basically uh, tamil nadu state goa himachal pradesh relatively uh, small number but again you know uh, as you go down you can see uh, more and more uh, states are uh, you know have children who are uh, in pre like high blood sugar range okay uh this one is uh, uh, basically person to 5 to 9 year old children who have high glycosylated hemoglobin okay so here you can see uh, hb1c will tell you uh, whether uh, a child is pre diabetic or diabetic okay so this hb1c uh, more than 5.7 uh, this children uh, are basically they have taken the data of those children so you can see a uh, state like goa has 26.4% children who have hb1c uh, higher than 5.7 which is pre diabetes okay so haryana goa gujarat jharkhand telangana these are the states some of the states uh, all this uh, dark red colors are pretty significant uh, number of children or percentage of children of that state has uh, high hb1c if you look at the overall uh, data for india uh, almost 9% children uh, between 5 to 9 years of age have high hb1c so every 10 child is pretty much pre diabetic okay so no wonder we have we are called diabetic capital of the world because our diabetes starts from 5 to 9 years of age as you can see look at look at the number of children uh, already showing uh, pre diabetes okay at such a young age so this will have to be very very uh, careful and uh, as you will start uh, going through this course you will understand why children get high hb1c and what can be done you know uh, what recipes to recommend to children even our uh, home you know at home uh, we want to make sure that uh, children are eating uh, healthy food uh, less of uh, carbohydrate increase protein and increase good fats okay uh, in this uh, i'm going to explain uh, micronutrient deficiency in 5 to 9 years of age Uh, in our children in india uh, this is the data is taken from cnns uh, which was the survey was done uh, in 2016 to 2018 and this is uh, government of india data okay so this will show us that how our 5 years old are doing in india uh micronutrients as you know this all uh, you know uh, nutrients which are required in a very small amount um and this is the basically uh, all different state level data uh this first present day first slide is on vitamin a so you can see that uh, mizoram uh, and jharkhand has more than 40% children who are vitamin a deficient okay now vitamin a as you will see in uh, some of uh, our presentation uh, that it is mainly present in uh, you know uh, yellow uh, vegetables and fruits but more than that it is present in uh, egg yellow and uh, liver and you know other uh, you know other uh, non veg food um, but you can see that uh, like almost two third of our Uh, states are not doing really well in terms of vitamin a uh, in children okay when children are deficient in vitamin a they have high risk of immune uh, immune uh, you know immunity is poor and then they have high risk of infections okay there are other uh, uh, kind of deficiency symptoms also and what happens if when they are deficient that you will see in uh, our subsequent uh, sessions but uh, you can see that you know most of the children are not doing well when it comes to vitamin a uh, here is percent of children 5 to 9 years of age who are deficient in vitamin d okay so vitamin d is basically predominantly you get it from midday sun uh, we have a very good tutorial on uh, vitamin d uh, do understand and just make sure the children are exposed to sun uh, uh, during you know between 11 to 2 uh, pm uh, here you can see punjab has 76% children who are vitamin d deficient is a 5 to 9 years of age uttarakhand has 62% 
Manipur has 55 percent and Haryana has 45. So almost like, you know, more than half of our children in like, you know, last four or five states are vitamin D deficient. Okay, so you want to be again very, very uh, careful. Uh, again, just all these red states are pretty alarming numbers. Okay, uh, so uh, do kind of uh, focus when we when we have the session on vitamin D. Uh, here is percentage of five to nine year old children who are zinc deficient. Okay, uh, zinc we have created a tutorial on zinc also. What happens? Uh, you can see over here Himachal Pradesh. 37.7% uh, children are zinc deficient. Uh, Manipur is 35.3% children are zinc deficient. Zinc is type 2 nutrient, important for uh, growth, important for height, uh, important for uh, many many functions including immunity okay so you want to make sure that look at this all so many children are uh, in dark red and red zone so you want to give food which is high in zinc uh, here is uh, data of our children five to nine years of age who are iron deficient iron is a big problem as you know uh, you know a huge number of children uh, even under five years of age are iron deficient, you know, deficient. But uh, we wanted to see how they are doing at five to nine years of age. And you can see Punjab again has a very high uh, iron deficiency anemia, 50% children, 51% children are iron deficient. Uh, Rajasthan, Gujarat, Haryana, Karnataka, Maharashtra, you know, pretty much, uh, pretty, pretty significant, uh, you know, iron deficiency in these children. Uh, here is uh, vitamin B12. B12 is very important for brain, uh, for memory, uh, for cognition, uh, for IQ. Uh, for It's basically extremely important for brain. And you can see that pretty much uh, whole of India is all red, you know, except for few states, uh, you know. Uh, so you can uh, see even again Punjab is 32.3% uh, uh, 5 to 9 years old are B12 deficient. Uh, Uttar Pradesh, Gujarat, Chhattisgarh, Rajasthan, these are all the states which are, uh, which are lacking B12. And uh, you know we want to make sure that they have food which are high in B12 so that they don't have B12 deficiency. Okay, uh, these are the children 5 to 9 years of age who have folate deficiency. Now we do give IFA uh, twice a week uh, in children but uh, despite that we have a huge number of children who are folate. Folate is also very very important uh, basically for blood, it is also important for uh, you know uh, DNA, uh, you know uh, for a lot of functions. So we have a uh, you know uh, uh, we have a um, tutorial on folate also and you can see Andhra Pradesh, uh, Asham, Assam, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Meghalaya, Maharashtra, there's all states which are which have almost more than 50% children who are folate deficient. Some of the states like uh, Goa, Kerala, Haryana, almost 20 to 30% children are uh, folate deficient. Uh, problem with folate is that if our young adolescent girls, if they're folate deficient, and if we don't kind of treat this uh, folate deficiency uh, uh, with diet and with supplement, then they may have a risk of developing neural tube defect uh, once they become, uh, once they deliver. So the babies who, who would be delivered to this folate deficient uh, uh, girls, you know, young women uh, will have an issue with the uh, neural tube defect. Okay, so we want to make sure that we tell uh, mothers to start fo folate rich food right from six months of age. So here I'm going to end my presentation. Thank you so much.